Okay, so here's a common problem that I have when I'm making projects. I just want to throw something together in a hurry. Maybe I'm using something like an Arduino Uno or a Mega, like this one. And I want to connect a keyboard to it. Um, and the keyboard has on the end of it, as they all do, a USB plug. So I want to plug a USB keyboard into an Arduino. And one of the things about USB, the USB format is that, or the USB standard, is that it works at five volts. So it's more than likely going to be a five volt project I'm working on, which is why I'm looking at these good old fashioned, but very reliable old school Arduinos, especially I'm quite keen on the Mega because of all the hundreds of ports, um, pins it has available. So it's a good thing. It's, I do a lot of my projects. I start off on an Arduino Uno or a Mega, and then I move them onto something smaller when I um, get them up and running. So what we need is something to go between the Uno, let's, let's do the Uno in this case, and um, the USB socket, and the answer to that is this chip. Yes, so that chip is the Max 3421E, and it does everything that you need to convert between USB format and something that an Arduino can look at. And um, there's one problem with it though, it is absolutely tiny, it's a surface mount component with really, really tiny legs that's very hard to work with. So the best bet, I think, is to get a breakout board for that chip. Um, and I've looked at one in the past, um, one that works at 3.3 volts. And today I'm looking at this one. So here's the chip here on this breakout board that I bought off eBay. And it's just simply a breakout board that converts from that chip, the Max 3421E, to Arduino format. It's an Arduino shield and it's got a USB socket here for the keyboard. And apart from that, it does two other things. Um, it's just got a chip there and a chip there to do level conversion from the five volts pins of the Arduino to the 3.3 volts required by the Max um, chip in the middle there. Uh, but the five volts of the Arduino comes through to power USB, and that's very important because USB keyboards, every one I've ever tried, runs on five volts. I can't find a 3.3 volt USB keyboard. So if you're doing a project involving USB keyboards, you need to be running something at five, point, at five volts somewhere in your system. So the keyboard goes in there. Oh, they're always upside down. <clears throat> the keyboard goes in there. And um, what should we do? Should we do the mark? We do the, we'll do the Uno. This plugs into the top of the Uno, sits on top of the Uno, and um, That goes on like that. Once you've got that shield on, it's very simple to use. The Uno carries on working exactly as usual, but it's got uh, the keyboard plugged in there, and you can plug your Uno in to your computer using the Stone Age um, printer style USB connector that these old Unos have. And uh, there you go. You can write a sketch, which I'll now do to read uh, from the keyboard and do whatever you want with the information that comes through. Also, there's just one extra thing that I need to mention about these USB host shields that you buy off eBay. Um, there are a couple of jumpers that need to be soldered, well, solder bridges, really. So just here, there's a 3.3 volt or 5 volt solder bridge that controls whether the board sends 3.3 volts or 5 volts to the USB socket for the keyboard. Well, obviously, you want 5 volts. So if this little solder bridge here isn't soldered you'll need to make sure that one is soldered if you see two dots it's not soldered if you see one blob of solder it is there's also two um, solder bridges down here which control whether it pulls power from the um, from the arduino or whether it takes some kind of external power which i don't understand really where you'd put that in um, so well i suppose maybe at this hole here and this hole here so if this solder bridge and this solder bridge aren't soldered up. You'll need to solder those two or else the board just doesn't have any power on it and doesn't work. So to make what would otherwise be quite a uh, hard to visualize thing a little bit more visual, I'm gonna use this four digit seven segment display here. These are really nice, these little seven segment displays. You can display numbers. I'm gonna, I've got a project, um, a timer project that I wanna use one of these on. It's absolutely ideal for that because it's a clock style display. Uh, I'm just trying that out at the moment. So I'm gonna put this onto my Arduino and um, then hopefully what I'm aiming to do is press a key on the keyboard and see that key come up on here somehow. Right, so I've connected that up. It's pretty simple really. Um, what's happening in terms of communication, the Arduino is connected, is, 
is um, speaking to this USB host shield. Let me show you that so you can see that the right way. There we are, USB host shield. So the Arduino is talking to the USB host shield um, via SPI, and it's doing that via the SPI pins on the Arduino, which, which are these ones uh, in here, the SPI pins in there. And then we're talking to the four digit display using I squared C. So it just, it's just power and ground on here and two pins to do I squared C connection, to do an I squared C um, interface to that. Okay, now I've found a USB cable that actually works. Um, you can see I've got power going to the Arduino. And if I type on the keyboard, let's type one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, let's even go as far as typing four, shall we? Four. There we go. So um, what we type on the keyboard, let me bring that into shot. Okay, I've got that into shot now. So if I type uh, one on the keyboard, um, I see one on the display. So all I'm doing is on the Arduino in the sketch, I'm just looping around, reading from the keyboard. You get from the keyboard, you get a value, which is actually the ASCII value. And then I'm turning the ASCII value into a character and I'm sending the character to, to the display. And the, the library for printing to the display is really simple. You just send it a character and it prints it up. So um, there we go. We can print, uh, we can get the numbers. And even as we go doing the letters as well. So look, there's an A, that's a lowercase A. If I shift A, now we get an uppercase A. So maybe I can type my name. Capital J, little O, little H, little N. How's that work? That's brilliant. Um, so let's take a look at the sketch. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is the library for the Max 3421E, uh, which is this USB host shield library 2.0, which you can find in your library manager. Um, I've got version 1.32 of that. Uh, for the display, I use this TM1637 library called 7segment TM1637. I installed version 1.1.0, but I found that had a bug and had to manually upgrade to 1.1.1. Now in the sketch, what we need to do is include those libraries, the seven segment uh, library, the hid boot, which is the USB host library, and set up a few pin assignments. Uh, you need, then need to define a keyboard handler, which is a class that handles the on key down event of the USB host shield. And you can see here, all I do is convert the character that we get into ASCII and print it up um, by sending out four different characters to the display. It's a pretty simple little routine that I've got there. And um, then the loop itself, well, you've got a setup section where you have to set up the USB display and I print the word bad on the screen if I can't contact the USB display. And then the loop itself, the main loop is just quite simply calling the task function on the USB over and over again. And um, that does the whole work works. So please uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And um, I'll see you next time for more Arduino videos.